Oh, jeez, you guys scared me to death. Let's get in the shop and build something. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I am just about done. Boom. There we go, I am done. So these are the wires on the ignition system um, <clears throat> that I'm going to use or going to use soon but sooner rather than later there's one more I didn't put on and that was the RPM activated switch um, but those will be pretty easy to add if I do it. So what that one looks like it's for is you can set that up so for anything that you want to be activated by RPM. And the example they give here is I put a pill in, in here and let's say 5,000 RPM. When the ignition senses 5,000 RPM, it arms the RPM switch. And then um, I could have it, uh, let's say, so that it's armed at that point. So then I can have it go to a nitrous solenoid that then fires um, uh, one of the solenoids or arms it or something. Um, the other example they give is it's it's armed by the ignition so as soon as I turn the ignition on it arms it and then when it hits 5000 rpm in my example it comes out signals out <clears throat> to a relay and then that relay can turn something else on whatever so that one may get used later when I go to nitrous I'm not sure yet so since I wasn't sure I didn't wire it um, it's at the top of the ignition so it'll be very easy to wire when I decide I need it or if I decide I need it. So to cover what I did, um, just I used all the things we talked about earlier um, except solder. Nothing soldered. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see it's all wired. So I, what I did is exactly the steps I told you. So I got my little notebook out here I wrote down, okay, here's my MSD. I looked at the instructions. What do I need? Looked at what I needed. Um, the other ones that are questionable here that I probably won't need, I don't, I don't know yet. When I go to nitrous, I know I'm going to need at least one of these, maybe two if I do a two-stage two kit. We will see on that. Um, so, but I went ahead and I connected all four of the retards one two three and four just because it's easier to plumb into the connector um, so that's done so everything here is documented um, I even documented the colors that I used um, and when I got this book out it, it's just a binded book that I use uh, I came across sketches that I had made years ago when I first wired the drag truck um, this is actually the representation of that um, power distribution module that's under the hood or well that's over there now but it's all documented here and then here um, kind of the same thing this is for the headlights this is for turn signals so this is some of the really about all that's left of the OEM wiring um, I just reused that so I didn't have to re-terminate and buy new terminals and all that jazz. 
and spliced into them. So this is something I done from uh, several years ago even. So probably a good six years ago that I did this. So anyway, then we have this one. So I'll throw this book in the trailer because um, I kind of forgot I had that. And um, we'll have that in the trailer. Plus, uh, you know, it's a regular notepad, so I can take all kinds of notes, do whatever I want to do with it. So, so I'm going to set that aside to go in the trailer. And then what I did was I just started doing one wire at a time. As I mentioned, I like to do connectors just so it makes it easy. If I have to pull this box out, send it to MSD, I can do that. All I got to do is undo the connector, which is real easy. See if I can do it. You just squeeze on these Deutsch connectors. You squeeze the tab. And you pull. And they release. Push it back in, lock it, you'll hear it click. Now it's locked in place. Um, so I did the Deutsch on this, it's a six way. I like that because they're, they're a little bit smaller body. That's the reason I did that one. Um, on this one, I'm using three wires. So I used a weather pack connector on that. Then for the ignition switch, I did another weather pack here. And then um, these are my, my coil. These two here are the coil. Um, I just got to get this installed, get the wires ran from the coil back, and then I can get the other end of this connected. Yeah. And then these two down here, this black is red, these are uh, to the battery. And the reason I have them, one going this way, one going this way, is just because of the way I have it set up in there, it's easier to do that, um, to route them. So. So, yeah, we got this all done. So, next video here, we will get them going. All right, guys. So, we're over here at the truck, getting ready to drop the ignition in and finish the wiring on it. So, what I start where I started was this is my coil. Okay, so I did a little quick little harness here. Goes to here, to the connector here. So, if I need to take this off, if it says you're bad, it's an easy replace. Um, so did that and then I've got my uh, distributor here eventually this is going to go to a uh, crank trigger but for now this is what it is so run off here I've got my connector going right right there and then I ran my harness um, let's see, right, right down through there under that bolt and then down through the frame and before anybody says anything on my uh, alternator wire, yeah, I know, I got to get a piece of uh, conduit and wrap that. Okay, let's go down under the truck. Okay, I'm going to do my best to show you this. So what I got to do now, I got a hole I drilled through the frame right here, cross member. Um... Get that up in there. So now I got to get my wires and I got to fish them through here. Once I get them through here, then I can run them back to the cab. So we're going to work on that. And uh, so I got my wire harness right here. I just got to get that ran through. Once I have it ran through here and pulled back, I've got some more split loom conduit that I'm going to put on it um, to. Uh, protect the wires so stay tuned Hey guys, so we're up here in the cab now and uh, getting ready to 
wire, get, finish the wiring on this. Um, uh, put the nuts on to get it mounted. I just got to get those tightened down and then I can work on getting this wiring done and tidied up. So let's get to it. Okay, so one of the things I did when I took the old ignition out, the six, um, just kind of I put some wires in here just as placeholders so, and I labeled them just to make it easier to identify what they were. So that's what these wires here are. We're going to take those out as I come to them. And um, yeah, then we'll get this thing buttoned up here. So I know from my labeling that. Uh, this is the ignition. So I want to take that. And we'll pull that out. And I just realized I forgot to grab my terminals. So that I could do this. So I need to get those. But first, we're going to go ahead and get this wire routed. That's this red wire right here. Um, and you'll notice here, I don't know if you can see this, I got this heat shrink tubing on here. Um, what I did here, this is just, it's labeled, and I did this with my labeler. And I'll try and remember to show you that labeler over there. Bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of it. But uh, this is really cool for uh, doing identifying wires and such. So we need to get this wired. I'm going to route my wire down. Here we go. We got all the wiring done. Um, everything is is connected and terminated. And now all I got to do tomorrow is just come back out to the shop and tidy everything up and get it all buttoned back up. And then this little project is done. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, we got everything buttoned up tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'll get out here and I'll clean everything up, tidy it up. And um, this, this little project's done. On to the next one. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching. Um, stay tuned. We got a lot more coming uh, as we make some changes now to the back of the truck. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe.